Yeah, it's, I suppose, first of all, I think up until maybe 17, maybe even 16, I'd have them in competitions where the result doesn't matter because at that age, it should be all about development. You now, people say, oh, no, you need to find out what it means to win a match and find out what it means to grind in and dig out results and know what it's like to be at the top of the table or the bottom of the table. But for me, at that age group, it should be all about development because it's not about, oh, we won the league at under-16s in the, in the UK, in the Premier League under-16s. It should be, okay, instead of that, what we did was we developed six players who went on to play for our first team and five other players went on to play for, let's say, a championship club or League One club. It should be all about, can we promote the players through, I suppose, the age groups that they're staying with the club? Not, okay, we've had a well-drilled team here. They've been dogged and tough to beat. But then, let's say, the club replaces the manager who's in place who likes a dogged style of football with a nice style of football. And next thing you have the whole academy who's pretty much been let go. So for me, it should be all about development of players and just ensuring that they can go out and actually enjoy it rather than being fearful of, let's say, three points or making mistakes. Because at the end of the day, you can always go out on loan to, even if if you're in the UK, you can go out on loan to, I suppose, conference teams and find out what it means to get your three points there and find out what it means to, I suppose, be in competition that way. But for me, it should be all about development at underage.